When you are building a memory palace in Monks VR, you literally start with a blank field. You then have to add not only all the rooms and zones necessary for the particular subject you're learning, but also all the visual elements and cues necessary to make the space feel distinct and realistic. In this video, I want to look at the importance of these visual cues, not only for the ambiance of the space, but also for navigation and memory. The best way to understand this is by seeing it. Here we have a completed memory palace for French vocabulary. This space is for learning basic animal nouns. So for example, we have a room for mammals, a room for reptiles and amphibians, a room for fish, a room for birds, and so on. The space is fairly minimalist, and no mnemonics have been added yet to learn the actual vocabulary items. We want the blank memory palace to be fairly empty and plain visually, so that the mnemonics stand out once they are put in. There are, however, a surprising number of visual details in this memory palace that help make it feel distinct and help orient you within the space. Here is the exact same memory palace with some of these visual cues removed. There are now no trees or other natural features in this space. I've also removed the animal images that help mark each room. Just having a few trees or other natural elements actually makes a huge difference in the look and feel of a virtual space. While you may want to have a symmetrical layout for your particular memory palace, having asymmetrical elements, particularly natural elements, really helps with spatial orientation. These elements often aid in spatial orientation subconsciously. In other words, you might find yourself checking your position in a memory palace subconsciously based on the location of a tree in the background. This is something we do all the time in the real world, so it's important to add these features into our virtual spaces. Here's the same space again, now with all the paths removed. Paths and roads really help to connect disparate rooms and zones within the same memory palace. They also help to establish a kind of flow between the different rooms. Though you by no means have to travel along these paths, they mark out a suggested progression, or at the very least, mark out the destinations as the most important elements within the memory palace. Finally, we can look at the same space again with all the textures and style features removed. While the finished memory palace may seem fairly bare, it actually has a surprising number of visual features designed to aid in navigation and memory. And remember, we want the space to be empty, like a blank canvas or blank page, so that when we add in the several dozen mnemonics required in this memory palace, those mnemonics will stand out as the elements we remember most. Our natural ability for spatial navigation will allow us to orient ourselves as a kind of subconscious background activity. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more videos on language and memory. Please also check out linguisticator.com for our courses in memory and languages, and for information on Monks VR, the software used in this video.